what is not to like about surfing? It's challenging. It's good for your body. It's good for your soul. It's everything to me, pretty much. If I didn't have it, I wouldn't be the same person. So it was about 10.45 in the morning, and I was paddling back out and watching everybody else that was in line behind me catch waves. And I sat up on my board when I got to the top and was watching uh, one of my friends surf in. I was standing at the bluff right at the edge here, past the sign, just watching the surfers surfing. I saw Todd just kind of sit up and watch Zane ride the wave. And that's when uh, I saw something kind of come out of the water at Todd. And then all of a sudden, tremendous, amazing, powerful force threw me into the air and across the surface of the water. I knew exactly what it was when it hit me, and nothing else is going to hit you with such force. There's nothing else that's really trying to kill you. It's their territory. They're far superior in the water than humans are. Obviously, you're, you're a sitting duck, pretty much. And then I saw Todd's head pop up. I tried to leave the situation, and the first time it hit me, it, it threw me, and I was still with my board and trying to paddle away from this thing, and then it came and it, and it grabbed me. It latched on and sandwiched my torso and my surfboard together and shook me around violently, and I was trying to hit it, but I mean, you can't do anything to an animal that is that big. It feels like hitting the front of a car. So it grabbed me and I, it was shaking me around and I was doing what I could and doing what you can to get away from something like that is almost nothing. There's almost nothing you can do. I saw Todd just kind of go down and then I saw his tail just whip back and forth. It was lagging really fast. Not like a dog would, kind of like the speed of a jackhammer. And then it came back and it, and it grabbed my right leg and swallowed it. I was doing what I could, and doing what you can to get away from something like that is almost nothing. There's almost nothing you can do. And then Todd pops up to the surface of the water, and he's screaming, help me, help me. I knew I was screaming. I didn't know what else was happening around me, but I knew that I had just gotten hit by a shark and that I needed to get out of there. And so I started kicking it in the face with my left leg, and by some act of God, it let me go. The water went calm for a few seconds. All I saw was this white water, which was being created by these dolphins jumping out of the water and picking their tails up. From the time I got in the water, there was a pot of dolphins outside of us. Maybe they were ramming the shark underwater. I'm not sure. I don't know why they defended me, but they chose to stay there and protect me. They're absolutely amazing animals. They're highly intelligent species. They know humans. They know sharks because they are eaten and they have to battle sharks all the time. Another miracle happened and a wave came right then. And somehow I managed to conjure up the strength and I managed to, to actually paddle into the waves. Right when I knew that I was into that wave, it was like the biggest weight lifted off my shoulders. At that point, I just kind of ran to my car and yelled at somebody to call 911. 911. Our surfer was just attacked by a shark at the uh, end of Reservation Road. And I figured, well, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And I just grabbed my towels and ran down the beach. And I was, as I was running, I saw Todd riding a whitewater wave in. And I, what I noticed about that was the water was completely red with blood. They yanked me up onto the sand um, where I was bleeding profusely. First thing I saw was his back, and the wound is huge. It's his whole back just exposed. They were telling me I was all right, I was all right. Don't look, don't worry, you're going to be fine. The whole time, they're all thinking that I'm going to die. My main concern was his blood loss. We just kind of sat there, giving pressure to the wounds, uh, waiting for the ambulance to come. That day, I was really really scared for Todd and I uh, kind of wondered about his survival. I, I knew he really needed to get to a hospital so they could increase his blood volume, so they could stitch him up. I'm really amazed how fast he did recover. 
wasn't that worried, I guess, because I never once the whole time crossed my mind that there was a possibility I was gonna die. It just never crossed my mind. It's, it wasn't my time. The dolphins were out there the whole time that we were out there, but I know that they consciously defended me from an animal that was definitely gonna kill me. He didn't bite me once. He went for me three times. He wanted to eat me. And they stopped him from doing that.